So hello YouTube, and today I have another video on how to make, which now is going to be your favorite video, because today I'm going to show you how to make your own fake realistic knife. And this is gonna, how it's going to look like when you finish it. So let's go to see what we need, okay? Let's go right now. Chopping list. So basically, basically, what you're gonna need is some thin cardboard, which is pretty long from where I can see it. You can get this cardboard at Costco, like I did, and totally free. And of course, you need more cardboard. This is more thicker than the last one I showed you. So this is going to be the blade itself. I'm going to explain you about the things later, so stay tuned and watch a commercial or something. Hello, I'm Max, and I watch movies everywhere. And you're watching... And you're watching How to Make by Tico A. And as well, you're going to need a Sharpie, the silver one, silver spray paint, black paint, scissors, but I think it's better for this X-Acto knife, so if I were you, I would use an X-Acto knife, but I don't have it, so I use scissors. And last but not least, is the uh, is super glue? I think it's better with hot silicone, but I use this one and it does work pretty good. Super tan apps. So what you need to do with the cardboard, one, the thick one I was telling you about, you need to cut the blade any form you want. I prefer the one that's kind of like like thick. Like from the size, like fat, and then like a little thing. You're gonna see when I, when I finish the whole thing. So what you will need, I I forgot to tell you, you need you might need a ruler if you want, or a pen or something like that to trace first the the blade, and then you just cut it. And I'm just gonna tell you, make two pairs of blades, cause one of those blades we're gonna use it in the next video, and of course it is about knives in the next video of course so don't throw it away keep this in your room or hand near you so the next video you can use it so don't throw it don't throw it. so what we need to do with this is cut some stuff like this to be the the handles of the of the knife two of these and it's I'm just telling you, cut four, cause the other two we're gonna use what, other two hand part handles we're gonna use it in the next video. So if you want this, wanna know what it is, then watch the next video. So don't throw the stuff. So you cut it out. You can you can use one as a trace and trace one out right there and cut it out. If I were you and you had one of these exactly one of these, then use this as a. There's a side, one side, and then just cut over here. So yeah, this is how it looks. So yeah, it's kind of like the the whole blade already finished. Yeah, we'll be right back in a second. Okay, so I'm Tico A, and this is a little commercial trader, whatever you want to call it. So hope you enjoy. Back is doing pretty what I do for you. Take this. You're gonna see I'm a ninja and you are a gangster. Who wins? The sword or the gun? Thanks for seeing my little trailer and thank you. So now we're gonna go back to your program, which is how to make.
Uh, now we're back. I uh, didn't know. Uh, sorry. So now, you just grab the pieces and glue them together. So what you're gonna do is get these two handles. When you cut the blade, you gotta leave like a little. This is the bottom part of. The, it's like the same. It's like the bottom part of the blade, and it it looks something like this. But uh, yeah, you gotta cut the blade like that and like that. I mean, leave this a little space like this, so you can put these two like that. So it can look kind of like this, but it pretty looks so cool. So now we're going for the finished project. Ah, uh, yeah, and I forgot. Y you have to um, spray paint it. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Looks pretty cool paint and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta you you gotta use the uh, two paintings, okay? And don't forget the sharpie. Don't forget it. So hi again guys and this is a finished project project. Looks pretty cool. The painting made it look pretty cool. You gotta use super glue to glue this. As you can see I was telling you to leave like the space in the blade. Cut it like like that, that form the blade and chin to the bottom. Paint it with a lot of careful because you don't want to get sprayed paint all over you yourself and stuff. So, it might take like an hour or 30 minutes to dry off. It's pretty cool. I like this project a lot. It's one of my favorite ones I have done right now. It's like a horror movie something or something. So, okay, now th this is a finished project, but I'm just going to warn you. Don't you ever throw this at someone or just or throw it in the sky because if one or uh, if you minutes ago I was when I was using this I kind of like scraped myself like right here you see that you follow me so yeah but anyways it's pretty cool you can use it like a prop in movies or you can just use it to play with but be careful. I, although this is cardboard, it still is sharp. And it, I mean, it cannot slice you off, but it can hurt you. So please, don't go playing with this, throwing it and stuff. Because you might get your or other people's ripped, I mean, not ripped, um, hurt. So don't go around throwing the, this knife. Just showing you. So don't do that. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. If your kids, you're gonna make this. Don't do that, kids. Pretty bad. Okay, so now what I used for this little dots was this sharpie. I just took the tap off and just colored there the the little dots. To make it look more like a real knife and stuff. I'm probably gonna use it in movies. So there's gonna be this movie Halloween, which is gonna be really cool. And if, of course, it's gonna be like of this Jason type of guy following these kids and stuff. So when it comes out, please check that out. And of course, in October, I'm gonna make my. Was it, was it, was it the Nip movie? Yeah, I'm gonna make it in October. So it's gonna come out like. In October 1, somewhere near it. I mean, not exactly October 1, but it's going to be near it. Pretty near it. So, yeah, I hope you like this video. And if you like it, then like it. Put a like. And if you have a doubt or want me to make, like, uh, another type of blade or anything else, like, uh, anything else, like, uh, one hour later, uh, 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 anything. I can't. I could make anything. So I'm just telling you that the next video, it's gonna be pretty cool. But this isn't the next video is gonna be about a knife. You're gonna check that out. 
remember I told you that you have to leave like another two another piece of the blade make another blade and another of these two of the handle two parts of the two parts of the handle parts so when you do that um, what you're gonna do is just leave it there if you want you can paint it exactly like this one and then you can even either stick it on when you finish doing the painting to have two knives in the next video if you want, don't want to well in the next video when if you already have the other the other knife finished we're going to use it in the next video so check the next video out and subscribe FOMO and I want to have a test film okay so hope you like it <laughs> yeah! uh. So thanks for watching and bye bye. Hope you have a great day and careful with when you make stuff. This has been How to Make by Tico A. How to make your own. Your own. Realistic prop knife. And Tico A out and see you in the next video.